For the next four weeks, I'm going to write and submit four short stories. Allow me to explain. Earlier this year, I got really into Ray Bradbury. He is the author of Fahrenheit 451, and I read his memoir. And in it, he talks about his schedule when he started as a writer. It went something like this. All during my early 20s, I had the following schedule. On Monday morning, I wrote the first draft of a new story. On Tuesday, I did a second draft. On Wednesday, a third. On Thursday, a fourth. On Friday, a fifth. And on Saturday at noon, I mailed out the sixth and final draft to New York. Sunday, I thought about all the wild ideas scrambling for my attention, waiting under the attic lid, confident that at last that because of the lake, which was a good story that he wrote, I would soon let them out. So that was the idea. On Monday, I write the first draft, I edit it throughout the week, and on Saturday, I submit it to a, a publication. That is the goal. Obviously, for me, it won't be New York, it'll be whatever publication I think my story will have a chance in. And I'm going to be documenting all of this here. The highs, the lows, will I do it? Will I submit all four short stories or will I crumble under the pressure? So I thought, four weeks, four stories, what is there four of? Elements. So each week, I'm going to use one of the elements as inspiration to kickstart my story. That way, I'm never 100% stuck. But before we get too deep into this video, I'm Elliot. I make videos about writing and the creative process. If that interests you, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get back to it. Week 1. Day one, I planned out my schedule and story ideas. The goal of this day is to have one idea for each week. It doesn't have to be a great idea, it just has to be something I can fall back on. There is nothing worse than having a deadline and not knowing what to write. Because I only have one writing day, I can't be in some creative limbo. The goal when I'm writing a first draft is to get the whole thing written so I know how it ends. If I don't know how it ends, then I can't officially move on to the editing phase. So I really pushed myself this day, finding free time on a busy Monday to write the full story, which ended up being around 2,100 words. So it proved to myself that I could do it and I can thrive in a deadline type scenario. And it felt really good to be writing fast. I was still riding off the high of the previous day, so I thought I'd take it easy. I ended up editing three out of five pages and spent some time coming up with a title, but I gave up. Hopefully, in the next three days, something will really pop. Overall, I'm feeling good. My story isn't complete garbage. I feel like it's something to work with, but until someone else reads it, I always rather feel really good or really bad about a story, and it's usually somewhere in the middle. Suddenly I'm at the halfway point of working on my story before I have to submit it, and I can't help feeling a bit nervous now. I edited the remaining pages and did another pass, and the story has now expanded to 2500 words, which means I should probably focus on cutting. I came up with another title, but I'm not ready to make a decision yet, and I'm starting to doubt what I've written. I'm starting to see plot holes, and I'm not sure if the ending is where it should end, and the danger of such uncertainty is that I'll try to write myself out of it, keep on growing my story, instead of editing it and fixing what I have. Alright, so I did another round of edits and here I am feeling pretty good again. I'm wondering in the normal world, how many rounds of edits do I actually do? I'm thinking around four passes, so doing six in a week is actually a lot. My current draft is still about 2500 words, but I'm not even worried about the length anymore because I have a secret weapon. My wife, a professional editor. So at the end of this day, I'm going to send my draft to her and try to get her feedback.
I begin this day by being so thankful for my wife's proofs. It gives me a little extra confidence when I submit it out into the world. At this point, I have mixed feelings. On one hand, I feel like the story is as good as it can be, and on the other hand, I feel like it's not good enough. A part of me just wants to give up on it and work on something else. I read it from top to bottom, accepting all my wife's edits, and the story just feels too close to me now. And having spent almost a week with it, nothing of it surprises me anymore. And this is the hardest part. You know it could be better, but you don't know what to fix. Here we are, the big day. I've kept up with Bradbury this week and did another round of edits. This edit was just another pass. Cleaning it up, removing excess words, and making sure any description can be elevated or made more visceral, but most importantly, not adding any errors back in. After that, I'm ready. I format the doc to the required submission guidelines, wrote a short cover letter, which I hate doing, and boom, submit. Week one, done. It's Thanksgiving Sunday, and after finishing the first week, I thought I'll take it easy. I spent the day preparing the outline for the second story. I wrote a synopsis and a three-act break, something I could fall back on during the course of the week if I have to. Tomorrow, when I start writing, I plan on just letting it flow naturally. I ended up writing the majority of my second story at a coffee shop because I had to wake up early to drive my wife to a race. I decided to do it all on pen and paper this time around and see how that changes my process this week. I anticipated slowing me down one full day to do the transcribing, but who knows, it might yield a better result. How much did I end up writing? About six solid pages in a notebook, which is around 400 words per page, so that's around 2400 words. Overall, today was a success. I often find transcribing to be a good way to revisit old work, and it's usually an experience that I enjoy. However, this time, it was a little painful. Doing it so soon after I've written it, and knowing that I have a deadline at the end of the week, made me a little bit worried about the quality. I spent a day where I could have been editing, transcribing, and it took all day. And the story is still pretty rough, and it's over 3,000 words which is a lot more than I expected. With that being said, let the cutting begin. I never felt better about cutting 700 words in one day. That's what I did. When you're moving quickly through a process, there's no time to be precise. If the goal is to cut, then if you have any doubt about any word or phrase, cut it. This was a hugely successful day. I feel much better about what I've written. I don't think it's anywhere close to brilliant, but I don't think it's absolute garbage either. There's hope. This was an intense editing day where I felt there was so much to fix and such little time. What happened was I got caught up with a few paragraphs that I just kept reworking and reworking. It's frustrating when you want to keep a really good turn of phrase or a witty line, but to leave it in your story would be a decision made for the ego. I ended up doing two full passes of the story today and adding about 500 words back into it. At the end of the day, I feel there's still so much left to improve. I shared it with my wife, if she tells me it completely doesn't work, at least I'll have time to fix what's broken. But that would suck. It's been an exhausting week. But luckily my wife's feedback did not involve any dramatic edits. A good editor can recognize what a writer is capable of within a timeline and provide criticism accordingly. I'm very grateful for that, and she is always very supportive. I went through, accepted the changes that she suggested, and gave the story one thorough pass. I can feel that some parts are still clunkier than others, but I don't know if I have the stamina to work on it today. So I'm going to let it rest and revisit it once more tomorrow before I submit it.
I am still feeling pretty drained. I thought initially I would do a few more rounds of edit, but I didn't really have it in me. I gave it one solid pass, polished it as best I could, but I didn't add or subtract anything major. It's a solid 70%. I don't have high expectations for this one, but I did my best this week, and you never know, someone might like it. I formatted the story, wrote my cover letter, which I now have a template for so it's a little less annoying, and hit submit. I feel like I was limping at the end, but week two is done. Halfway there. So, I know I'm gonna have a really busy week this week, especially tomorrow, Monday. Monday was the day Bradbury dedicated to writing the first draft. I don't think I have the luxury of time, so I want to get at least a portion of my story written today. The goal was just to get a thousand words down, so that at the very least, I'll be around halfway done tomorrow. Any progress I make today would just make completing the story tomorrow easier. Plus, I feel like writing. I really just feel like sitting there and imagining. If I'm imagining, I'm writing. Today was super busy, as anticipated. I had set my alarm to wake up early to write, but like many attempts at waking up before, I couldn't. Instead, I ended up writing the bulk of my story during the latter part of the day. I ended up getting 1600 words down, which was enough for me to wrap up the first draft. I'm th so thankful that I did some writing yesterday, because I don't think I could have had the whole draft written today. With that being said, I feel really good about the story. At the moment, I have the, a really strong connection with it. It's the most action-packed and possibly the most emotional one I've written. I look forward to editing it this week. This has been a crazy week, and I'm honestly surprised that I've been able to give this story the attention that I had. Work is busy, and home is busy as well. However, I did a full pass of the story today, and I feel really good about it. This story is a page turner, and has a consistent energy to it. Honestly, working on the story is a nice escape from all the stress of this week. Usually the second draft is painful, but this time, it wasn't. I hope it's actually as good as I think it is, and it's not just my exhaustion that makes it seem better than it is. If it's this good now, the hope is that I can make it better in the next few days. I guess we'll find out. I've been enjoying these editing days, almost more than the writing days. There's just less pressure. This is especially true when it's Wednesday, and I know I still have plenty of time to improve on it. The thing is with this story is I don't even know how much better I can make it. I'm a little worried about how good I feel about it. I know that sticking with the process and editing it three more times will help me see something that I haven't seen yet, another layer of possibility. That's what great writing is, right? Layers. It's another chill day for editing. I wasn't too successful in getting deeper into the characters without dramatically expanding the word count. I worry that if I start adding more to it at this point, I'll end up breaking it and need to go back to fixing mode instead of polishing mode. The fact that there is a time limit is not allowing me to experiment as much as I like. I feel nervous when I touch it now because I'm not sure what I need to fix. Once again, Thursday is the night I send it to my wife to take a look. I'll see what she has to say. Maybe she feels differently about the story. When I write a story, I have my interpretation of it. When I allow someone to read it, they often give me a perspective that I wouldn't have myself. My wife read my story and told me how scary and sad this one is. I think that was definitely the tone I was going for. However, I interpreted the sadness as a sliver of hope. This created a bit of separation between myself and the story. I read it again and I agree, this story is pretty intense. Who knows what mood the publisher or judges reading the story will be in after I submit it. Maybe a really intense story is what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. 
I woke up early to drive my wife to another race she was in, and only when I looked at the submission guidelines today did I realize the contest I wanted to submit to had a 2,500 word max, and my story is over 2,700 words. I talked about how little I cut this week. I didn't prepare the story properly for the submission, and I was in no mood to cut 200 words, so I found another lit mag, in the end one more fitting of my story, so I'm hopeful. These things work out sometimes. I gave the story one more pass, I hit submit, and finished my task before all these runners finished their half marathon. Week 3, done. One purpose of these challenges is to find out what works for me in order to stay consistent. At the beginning, my fear was that each week will feel repetitive. It hasn't. Each story is unique to itself, and although life is repetitive and has a structure, by working on these stories, I feel like it's wrapping around the construct of my days, not the other way around. For me, Sundays are much better first draft writing days than Mondays. There's just more free time to do it. so. I spent a few hours this day drafting out my fourth and final story. It took a little bit to get started, but once I got going, although it's strayed from the outline as it always does, I feel like I've found the character's intentions, which is essential. I ended up getting over 1800 words, which leaves me in a good place to write the ending tomorrow. I wrapped up the story as best I could by only adding 500 words. Now that I know how it ends, I feel like there is going to be a lot of editing work required for this one. This is something I do, and this is why I find short stories so challenging because my ideas are always huge. My ideas are always some world building behemoth. I did my best to keep it simple, but now I'm debating what details I should leave in or cut, how deep into the history should I go. This story, more than any of the others, requires some understanding of the world, so I'm a bit worried about how I'm going to approach this editing process. I've come to really appreciate this project. I like how this challenge is broken down into a week-long process, and although I'm working on this a little every day, I'm not doing the same thing every day. For today, I'm just editing. I'm just reading the piece for the first time from beginning to end. But today I'm worried because this is going to be a hard story to get to the level that I want. It's too big and at the moment it feels really rushed at the end. I have ideas of how to fix it but I don't know if I have the time. Another great thing about this project is the timeline. And the fact that this is week 4 makes me want to quit. But I'm too deep now to give up on the story. I need to try to make it good. That is what I like about this project. I have to commit to a story even if it's challenging. After today's edit, I feel the story is heading in a direction I can approve of. But in making the story coherent, I've also expanded it. It's now over 3,000 words. This means I might or might not have added some extraneous things that I may need to cut tomorrow. Last week, I talked about how nice Wednesdays are because they are chill editing days. While it still feels nice, I do feel a little pressure this week because this story is hard. I feel like this story and the week 2 water story are the toughest, so I'm drawing experience from that. Needless to say, I'm glad I didn't give up. I feel much better about this story today than yesterday. and. It's just a reminder that all creative projects, regardless of the scale, will have ups and downs. I'm trending upwards, but it's by no means a big spike. I've been listening to some stuff about side hustles this week. I don't really consider these projects side hustles, and it's kind of funny thinking about writing short stories as side hustles, because truth is, I'm delusional if I think I'm going to make money from it. I do it because I enjoy it. Editing a story sometimes is tedious, and I guess that's why I like to make a challenge of it. It sounds undoubtedly like work, but I always found writing and editing to be a way of entertaining myself. It's like watching a movie that you can mold. Today, I remolded my story a little bit more and cut out sections that, I would, that would have been nice to keep. 
but the goal is to trim at this point. This is a tough one. I feel it's better than the first draft, but it's so much less than what it could be if I was capable of fixing it. I definitely see my limitations this week, but hey, my wife is willing to read my story again. The penultimate day of this project. I feel relieved to have gotten to this point. I feel relieved that I didn't give up. I feel legit growth from this whole experience and I feel I established a pretty good process to write and edit every day. That being said, I really didn't feel like working on it today. However, my wife sent me back some feedback and encouragement so I had to at least give it one pass and try to improve on the ending, which I totally agreed with her feedback on. It needed a little something else. What I'm happy about is that it wasn't super confusing. Fantasy and sci-fi is really not my wife's thing, but I'm glad she put up with my stories these past few weeks. Anyways, I'm almost there. Looking forward to submitting it tomorrow. Here we are. It's a beautiful day to finish this project. I'm genuinely impressed that the story I felt so unsure of when I wrote it earlier this week has transformed into something that, dare I say it, I'm proud of. At least that was how I felt when I read it over this time and submitted it to the fourth publication of the month. This was a lot of fun and pushing myself to do this allowed me to write four stories that I don't think would have come any other way. I'm very happy I did this and I'm already thinking about the next short story series that I can write. Have I gotten better as a writer? It's hard to say, but I definitely proved to myself that if I wanted to write and submit a short story in seven days, I could do it. It's a process that is possible and repeatable. And as we know, processes are everything. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. My name is Elliot. I make videos about writing and the creative process. If that interests you, don't forget to subscribe. Good luck with your writing and I'll see you real soon.